When you look at the analysis that was done uh, through the IPC, that the Famine Review Committee examined as well, the messages were crystal clear. Uh, and one of the key messages was that it was urgently important, uh, not just for people to be able to access the calories that they needed, but there was really deep concern about the nature of what was being consumed, right? It's not enough just to eat bread. You need to eat vegetables. You need to have access to proteins. You need to be able to access milk as well. And it's in that context that our emergency uh, animal health interventions and our fodder interventions specifically play such an important role. Those fodder interventions will keep livestock alive, sheep, uh, goats, uh, cattle. Uh, it will do that. It will protect those assets for vulnerable households. But actually, the most important impact is what it means in terms of access to milk for vulnerable households and for malnourished uh, children. And the estimates that we have using WHO's nutrition uh, standards and guidelines is that uh, the 1,500 metric tons of fodder that we plan to bring in, that we have funding to uh, procure, that is uh, on its way and that um, we expect is now being distributed, that that can provide milk access for all of uh, Gaza's uh, child population. Here we're talking about children under the age of 10. Part of what's going to be at the heart of preventing famine in Gaza is dietary diversity. It's not just about the amount of calories that's consumed on a daily basis. And this came clearly through in the analysis. And so an ability to uh, start producing crops again, an ability to keep livestock um, and uh, sheep and cattle alive, small ruminants as we call them. Uh, about 55% of all of the small ruminants uh, in Gaza have either been slaughtered or killed since the fighting started. That's a huge percentage. It means that there are still about 45% uh, of those sheep and goats that are still alive. It's vital that we keep them alive. I talked about the animal fodder uh, as being able to provide enough milk for all of the uh, children uh, under 10 uh, in Gaza. That's the most important statistic. It's also important to note that that same amount of animal fodder, we estimate, could keep alive the balance of the sheep and uh, goat population uh, that um, that still exists uh, in Gaza. And this is, this is vitally important. And when we look slightly longer term, our priority at the moment collectively has to be to prevent famine. As soon as possible, being able to restart agricultural activities is going to be uh, indispensable uh, in Gaza, as it is in any is any um, any context. Keeping animals alive in that context is an obvious and important immediate choice.